in a press conference today at Stocktronics Incorporated, New York's leading new technology firm. Boring. Wait, I want to see this. Founder and CEO Dr. Baxter Stockman was on hand to unveil his latest innovation. A wise man once said, build a better mousetrap and the world will beat a path to your door. I say, let the path beating begin. For I, Dr. Baxter Stockman, have designed the solution to the city's ever-growing rat problem. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the ultimate expression of rodent termination technology, the Stocktronic Mouser. My lab assistant, Miss April O'Neill, will release several rats into the simulation chamber. April, proceed, my dear. Now observe the sheer genius of my mouser in action. And the mouser's search and retrieval functions are all ingeniously controlled by a remote mother computer. Oh, this is so great. My friends, my family will finally see I really do work with the Baxter Stockman. You flatter me, Miss O'Neill. I like that. That's strange. I was running a routine diagnostic check. Half the mouser prototypes aren't even transmitting. It's like they just vanished. Hmm, I'm sure it's nothing, April. Uh, probably just a computer glitch. Uh, I'll have a systems tech go over it in the morning. But what if the mousers have been tampered with? We should go over all their transmission backups. That won't be necessary, April. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm expecting an important call from a very significant financial backer. The mousers will be ready when I decide they're ready. Our first field test was... Was a complete failure. I do not tolerate failure. Which is why you'd make a lousy scientist. The test was supposed to expose any possible design flaws. As a result, I've already upgraded the mouses for greater durability. And I assure you, they will perform flawlessly for the next phase of the plan. They had better, Dr. Stockman, for your sake. Good night, April dear. Try not to work too late. You know I don't like to pay overtime. Good night, Dr. Stockman. <laughs> Rat problem, my eye. What are you really up to, Stockman? Now, now, Miss O'Neill. That would be telling. Suffice it to say, my army of mousers will make me a very rich and powerful man. But aren't you already a very rich and powerful man? Ah, Miss O'Neill. So brilliant, yet so naive. I will truly miss working with you. What? You mean I'm fired? In a manner of speaking. I'm afraid I can't let you live, Miss O'Neill. You've seen far too much already and, well, let's just say I have trust issues. Run, Miss O'Neill, but you cannot hide from my mousers. <laughs> These security measures are pitiful. An insult. Nothing can stand in the way of my consummate genius. Excellent. Excellent. The world, as they say, is my oyster. And aren't the pearls lovely? Uh, what? Dr. Stockman. Make it quick. I'm very busy. I am contacting you to verify that you are fulfilling your end of our bargain and that you are on schedule. I will not stand for any more of this idiotic interrogation. I've advanced the mousers to the next stage and they are securing the funds from the banks as you requested. Can you grasp that simple concept? Do not presume too much, Dr. Stockman. The price for failure will be quite extreme.
a field report or a fantasy novel? Fool! Was it fantasy that destroyed your mouse or robots, Dr. Stockman? Was it fantasy that took back the sword of Teng Yu from your foot soldiers? These green-skinned ninjas are too skilled to be mere street thugs. Maybe they're working for your old enemies. Yeah. More likely a top-secret government experiment. I am not interested in theories. I want answers. You two will work together. Find these creatures, learn their secrets, destroy them if necessary. While your oversized lackey wastes time and effort with the pointless scribblings of street thugs, I have created something useful to intercept your amphibious pests. I give you the Foot Tech Ninjas. My brilliantly designed cyber armor enhances their physical abilities, giving them increased strength, speed, and stealth capabilities. All thanks to the technology I was able to glean from a tiny sample of this unusual artifact you dragged up from the East River. If you had any sense, you'd allow me to study the entire thing. First things first, Dr. Stockman. Bring me the creatures. <sighs> Just keep this behemoth out of my way, and my foot tech ninjas will deliver the goods. I guarantee it. You have already paid the price for failing me once. Do not fail me a second time. I'm only gonna ask you this one more time. Who do you work for? How long have you been on this planet? What is the level of your technology? You fool! 
I was this close to obtaining a DNA sample, and you let him escape. Precisely. I let him escape to lead us to the others. Even as we speak, a squad of foot tech ninjas are trailing the creature. So now it's all up to your invisible boys. Better hope they don't blow it. Another operation marred by the sickening stench of defeat. No doubt you are both well aware of my extremely limited tolerance for failure. It was his fault. This bumbling oaf let the creature escape. The plan was sound, and yet your creations failed to, as you put it, deliver the goods. Wait. Where are you taking me? Take your hands off me! I made you! I am your creator! The foot's back in business, profits are up, and the turtles are history. Why are we not celebrating, Master? Where are the bodies? We burned that building to the ground. I think we can safely assume that- We can assume nothing! My enemies assumed they had destroyed me, and it cost them dearly. I can ill afford to make the same mistake. I require evidence of their demise. Scientific proof, perhaps? Oh, I did not send for you, Stockman. And that was your first mistake. <sighs> your arrogance is exceeded only by your inability to learn from your... Punishments. What do you want? A simple exchange of goods and services. I can provide you the most sophisticated DNA analysis of Ms. O'Neill's destroyed shop. You'll know beyond a shadow of a doubt if the turtle survived or not. And in exchange? Full access to this fascinating artifact you fished from the East River. A brief glimpse of its technological secrets allowed me to create the Foot Tech Ninjas. Imagine what I might do were I given complete access to it. A win-win proposition, I'd say. Provide me with proof that the accursed turtles are no more, and you shall be so rewarded. Fail me, and your next punishment will be your final punishment. every search pattern, every type of analysis, but there's no conclusive evidence that anyone, human or turtle, perished in this blaze. But I... I can't go back to Shredder with nothing. I... Huh? Hmm... <laughs> if I can't find any evidence, then I'll just have to make some evidence. This is your conclusive proof? That is merely a souvenir of your victory. Consider it a gift. This is my conclusive proof. Telltale traces of mutated DNA, order colonia, family emidide, or in layman's terms, turtle. Someone's been doing his homework. No doubt one as intelligent as you would recognize that the sheer amount of DNA evidence recovered can only lead to one conclusion. The turtles perished in the blaze. So that's what you look like when you're pleased. I've always wondered. Now, about my reward... I will have a team of foot technicians deliver it to your lab in the morning. Now, if you will excuse me, I have other pressing matters to attend to. Of course, Master. Fool. You let your guard down the moment you believed your enemies vanquished. Soon, the technological secrets locked within this artifact will give me power beyond reckoning. 
And that's when Baxter Stockman stops taking punishment and starts dishing it out. <laughs> Report. Sir, the truck was a decoy. What? There's something else you should know. I've seen this truck before. It belongs to the Turtles. The Turtles? Alive? But Stockman assured me that they were... Stockman. Stockman, report to me at once. Stockman. Stockman! Stockman! Hmm. What's this? Someone's hacked into the system? No matter. A little extra chaos will keep the Shredder distracted. He'll never expect what I have in store for him. What is this? Baxter Stockman! In the flesh, so to speak. You will pay for your false report of the Turtles' demise. However, you can redeem yourself. Destroy the Turtles! You blind, ignorant, self-important fool. I didn't make the suit to help you, Shredder. I made it to destroy you. For every punishment you inflicted upon me, I will make you suffer tenfold. You will finally learn to respect my superior intellect. Stockman, I'll have your head for this. No, Shredder, I'll have yours. And you, meddlesome creatures, you have interfered with my plans for the last time. You believe this guy's rap? Whack job city! You'll all pay! All of you! Not one of you will leave this room alive! You will all be crushed by the genius of Baxter Stockman! <laughs> Dangerous whack job city! <laughs> The most beautiful thing about my brilliant plan? I used you, Shredder, to transform me into this ultra cyborg you see before you, a truly superior work of genius. But all good things must come to an end. It's time to bid you adieu. Explosions! Guys! Guys! Do you copy? Can't talk right now, April! Uh, uh, kinda busy staying alive! Call you later! Uh. Out of my way! Now, where did Hun get to? There you are. I've been so looking forward to this. It's payback time. Oh, oh, that felt good. Now, I'm going to take you apart piece by piece. A lovely irony, wouldn't you say? <laughs> It's a self-healing polymercrylic, just one of 39 patented items I developed using your resources. You made it all possible, Shredder! <laughs> and didn't suspect a thing, you pompous, overblown ignoramus. But the time has come for you to be re-educated in my brilliance. <laughs> It took everything we had to beat the Shredder last time. And Robo-Nut just took him out in 4.5 seconds. 
the Shredder and Hun. Um, can we go home now? And now, the freaks. It's most fortuitous that you're here, really. You're on my list of parties responsible for recent misfortunes in my life. The charges are ruining my genius work, interfering with my brilliant schemes, and hampering my destiny as the world's foremost criminal and scientific prodigy. <laughs> might have worked against a lesser mechanoid, but as always, I'm one step ahead in my design work. In addition to the central power nodules, each component of my cyborg armor has its own internal backup power source. So, what you're saying is, this arm should still be fully functional, right? Oh no.
proceeding to phase one. <laughs> intriguing device, sir. We really must exchange cosmo-ethereal equations sometime. Mikey, get back. Don't get too close to him. I uh, don't sweat it, Leo. Like you told me. This isn't real, remember? Hey, ugly! Sweet dreams! You cursed freaks! What the? Our weapons! They've disappeared! Or should I say, very unpleasant nightmares? <laughs> what? What's happening? I don't understand. Something has gone horribly wrong. Oh dear! Michelangelo's vital signs! They're going critical! This is Stockman. All finished here. I am proceeding to phase two. Phase two was complete. Security is down, thanks to my genius. Oh! Sorry! Sorry! I should know better, Master. I have detected an underground passage that should allow you and your men to enter the building unseen. I'll deactivate the security in that sector and commence with phase three. Master, they don't suspect a thing. Attack! Destroy them all! <laughs> oh dear, and I thought I was stuck with an unpleasant robot body. At last! It's time I finally had my revenge on you annoying mutations. Stockman? <laughs> I almost didn't recognize you. New haircut. <laughs> Stockman, hold. You have more important business. Never! My revenge comes first. I said hold! Implement phase three, now! Yes, Master. The device will soon be under your control. <clears throat> the device! <clears throat> the transmat! Stop, man. Power of the transmat. Finish Mortal and his friends. Yes. Master. We have to stop Stockman! And here I am, fresh out of box break! Why don't we just get credit to ask him to stop? Stockman seems to listen to him. That's it! Stockman's control chip must be voice activated! Yeah. Professor Honeycutt, can your audio processor replicate any sound? Of course. We need your best impersonation of the Shredder now! Stockman, step away from the controls. Stockman, don't listen to him. You obey only me. Don't listen to him. Override all voice command protocols. I'm 
I'm free! I obey no one now! Who's in charge now, Master? No! No! You were right, my friend. Oh, so right. The remaining component was exactly where you said. Now I can complete my task for you, and then you can aid me in completing mine as per our deal. I am so glad I made your acquaintance. I don't mind telling you, I've had quite a lot of experience repairing these units. Child's play, really, once you understand the basic principles. Well, what do you know? It's just a big crocodile version of Dawn. It is finished, my friend. Why don't you take it for a test drive? Ah, my friend has returned. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you my good friend. Master Stockman! Hey, Stockman, love the new look. What was wrong? The spider thing not cutting it with the ladies? Party har har. Leatherhead, my friend. Do you recall the traitors I told you about? It was these turtles who sabotaged the TCRI building. It was these turtles who destroyed the transmat. It was they who caused the Utrams to leave. Them? Yes, yes, them, them! Baxter Stockman telling lies? Imagine that! Them. These green gnomes are why I had you build our little you-know-what. And now we can put it to work. Donnie! What in the shell is that? I'm not sure, but it doesn't look good. Playtime is over. You're so right. I am done playing. I'll be happy to finish you off personally. I can't count how many times you meddlesome freaks robbed me of my revenge when I was working for the Shredder. But this time, nothing will stop me. The Shredder? Huh? You worked for the Shredder? Huh? He was the Utron's uh. most hated enemy. You weren't intending to help me with the Transmat. You used me. <laughs> Very well. You pathetic freaks can all perish together. Believe me, I am doing evolution a big favor. All right, the whole army of ninja hold up in there. Is this really going to work against that many? Oh, ye of little faith. I have intimate knowledge of the foot. They will have no way of dealing with what you are about to unleash upon them. Time for Plan B. I'm afraid it lacks the finesse of my robotic creation, but we really have no choice. It's a rather messy alternative. Messy? Absurd.
got to admit, pal, when you deliver, you deliver! Not only do we take down the foot, but those costume freaks to boot! A happy coincidence, but one for which I came fully prepared. What's going on out there? Your tin cans are getting crushed! A minor setback. Although, perhaps a strategic retreat would be in order. What's this? Well, isn't this ironic? Once again, I have made a fool of fate. I thought we were going to sleep with the fishes for sure. Let's get back into the fight. Uh-oh. Uh, how you doing, boys? Ah, hun. Don't worry. I'll make them an offer they can't understand. Gentlemen. Whoa. Oh, the Shredder. I'm doomed! I'm doomed! Master! I have work for you to do! Purple Dragons, follow me! They're leaving! We're going to live! We're going to live! Weasel! The Shredder's back. Seems the guy doesn't know when to stay in the morgue. First, Master Shredder, I have a little welcome back present that I hope you will enjoy. May I reintroduce you to... Baxter Stockman. This is Baxter Stockman. You've lost weight. Of course it's me! Look around you! Do you think this facility would have been possible without my genius? These imbeciles working for you have the technological savvy of Amoeba! And you've been very naughty, Stockman, betraying me once too often. You should have quit while you were ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, Shredder, if it wasn't for my knowledge regarding your one of the greatest benefits of having Baxter Stockman in this state. Allow me to demonstrate how the good doctor was induced to hand over so much of his information. Master, where is the honor here? This misery should be put to an end, not prolonged. Do not presume to question me, Karai. Stockman is the perfect example of what happens to those who betray me. Is that clear? Yes, Master. A perfect example. Now, if I may show you your new army. These are our latest and most deadly weapons of destruction. Put him down, now! Master Splinter, what is this? What's going on? Now you've done it, you muscle-bound thug. We can't have two Master Splinters in the same place. You've botched the whole thing. Back off, Stockman. Try to get the turtles to attack the rat. Accuse him of being an imposter. That is what attacked me. Destroy it. No, my sons, he is the imposter. You must believe me. Put him down now. Say what? Bah, the turtles will not be taken in by such an obvious ruse, Han. Huh? Uh. Destroy them now. Stockman. Stockman! No need to shout. Stockman, I want this situation under control. I need more warriors. 
How soon can you have these foot mechs completed? Sorry, Shredder, but cutting-edge biotech genius takes time and- Then allow me to give you a little motivation to accelerate the process. Ah! Stop it! Stop! Ah! I'm waiting! Ah. All right. Th there are four foot mechs which can function. They're incomplete, but they'll do the job. And we have the world leader foot mechs. Master, this is Hun. I have captured two of the turtles and their rat. Can I finish them? But Master, I promised them their lives. Are we not honor-bound to keep that promise? Honor-bound? Karai, you must learn that your duty to me is far more important than your honor. I... I understand, Master. We shall see, Karai, for you will be the one to slay the turtles. Yes, my lord. We've got two and a half minutes before this place is about a thousand feet underwater! You small-brained terrapin! Look what you've done to my lab! Stockman? Is that you? Man, you've really let yourself go. Woo! Aha! Once again, Baxter Stockman has cheated death! <laughs> Master? Han, what is happening with your mission? Uh, Ruffington's using his fishery to warehouse the weapons until they're loaded onto our barge. Then... Silence! This matter is completely out of control. Stockman has already tapped into Ruffington's security system. Oh, has he? Well, you know me. Always happy to lend a hand. The Turtles! I do not tolerate failure. I'm on it, sir. I have a job for you. Prime Fishery Warehouse. Now, I'll meet you there. No, you stay here. And you had better hope it goes well. Report. Master. Please forgive my earlier interruption, but I thought you'd want to know we encountered the turtles near the Central Park salvage operation. You are not to be seen or heard while I conduct our legitimate business. Is that clear? Yes, Master. As for the turtles, they must not be allowed to interfere with my plans. Actually, I have a little project that might come in handy. I've been... Never interrupt Mr. Saki, Dr. Chaplin. You'll have to excuse the new guy. He's a little overly enthusiastic. He just needs to learn his place. Let me see this project of yours, Dr. Chaplin. Well, when I say my project, it's really based on the groundbreaking work of Dr. Stockman. I mean, he's a giant in this field. It's hard to believe I actually get to lead a tech team with my idol. Lead? But I'm the tech division leader. So, here they are. I call them the Amazonian Bladebots. Do I detect a resemblance? You don't mind, do you? It's just that, well, I mean, you're just so perfect. Uh, so anyway, these bots are the latest in remote-guided mech technology, completely controlled by our operatives in these Geosphere substations. Yes, well, the video game generation do enjoy their little playthings. I would like to see a demonstration. Hold! So, what do you think, Mr. Saki? You did hear him say this was all based on my work. If your robots prove themselves by destroying the turtles, Dr. Chaplin, then perhaps we can retire your mentor, Dr. Stockman, once and for all. Looks like someone's going to be out of a job soon. 
I have other matters to attend to. Karai, proceed with the other operation we discussed. Wait, other operation? Is this something I should know, Master? Apparently, I'm not the only one who's being considered for early retirement. <laughs> What if this young upstart punk actually succeeds in finishing off those reptiles? I'll be finished. Retired. Permanently. We'll see about that. Yes! That's right! They take a licking and keep on ticking! Let's see them lick this. I don't understand what happened. The bots were all working perfectly and then somehow they just self-destructed. Here's the problem. A glitch in the power surge protection code. Rookie mistake. One I can easily correct. Please don't blame the boy. It's my fault. I should have checked his programming more thoroughly. See that you do in the future. This entire project would have been a complete failure had I not heeded Karai's advice. The Tribase operation was simply a decoy to keep the Turtles busy while she recovered this. My true objective. Uh, I would be happy to examine whatever alien technology you were able to... If I can assist you in any way, Master, I... Enough! Karai and I need to discuss how best to rid this organization of dead weight. Dr. Chaplin, I trust what you have to show me will justify this excursion from the city. Believe me, Master, you're gonna dig it big time. You brought us all the way out here for a blimp? What pea-brained halfwit authorized this project? I did. Oh, well, I'm sure you have your reasons, O oh wise and revered Master. Indeed. Excellent work, Dr. Chaplin. I installed that Triceraton force field override mechanism you recovered, just as you requested, sir. This baby will breach the atmospheric shield around Beijing and retrieve the desired cargo, no problem. And just what does the boy genius think he's retrieving? A Triceraton anti-gravity generator. But master, Removing an anti-grav generator from a city floating 20 miles above the Earth's surface is a virtual suicide mission. Yes, that is why I have selected you to lead this operation. Me? But Master, what of the millions of innocents that will perish when Beijing comes crashing to Earth? They are of no concern to me. How dare you question the Master? I'm behind this plan 100%. Good. You will have the honor of accompanying Dr. Stockman on this extremely dangerous mission. All our loyal service, and this is the thanks we get. Pushed aside by the new blood. Perhaps it's time we started pushing back. Hey, I just wanted to say, no matter how bad the Shredder treats you, I'm still honored to be working with the legendary Baxter Stockman. Even if you are a freakish, brain-in-a-jar shadow of your former self. The truth is, I can't stand seeing someone I admire reduced to such a pathetic existence. So I've decided to put an end to your suffering. 
Wait, <laughs> what are you? No. What? What are you doing? survive the big mission. Ah, yes, the mission. Pity you'll miss out on the maiden voyage of this incredible vessel you designed and built with your own two hands. Not to mention witness firsthand as an entire city crashes down from the stratosphere. Man, that'd be so cool. Yes. Of course, you could decide to go behind the Shredder's back and join us. But that would be wrong, wouldn't it? Hey, what the boss doesn't know won't hurt him, right? True. And naturally, I would assume full responsibility for your well-being throughout the entire mission. After all, we wouldn't want you to fall victim to some unfortunate accident. What's in the crate, Karai? And why are you suddenly joining this mission? That is none of your concern. <sighs> what exactly is all this? Uh-uh-uh. That'd spoil the surprise. down in Tiananmen Square. Where's Karai? She got bumped from the mission. Apparently she had a little falling out with the organization. Great. Nobody warned us we'd have a welcoming committee to contend with. No sweat, Doc. Time to unleash my surprise. Mousers version 2.0! Oh. I took your basic concept and gave him a little upgrade. Cool, huh? Hmm. <laughs> upgrade? More like a side grade. What? How on earth did those meddlesome reptiles get here? I've got this one, Dr. Stockman! Mousers, attack! gonna have to ditch it. Oh, that's not all we're gonna ditch, my boy. Ah, no! The master will be disappointed that we came back empty-handed. Not to mention the unfortunate demise of Karai and young Dr. Dablin. We'll blame it all on them. Just follow my lead. Master, we have unfortunate news. Karai and Dr. Chaplin are- Wait. Perhaps you would like to share your news with Karai and Dr. Chaplin. Hi, Dr. Stockman. Everything's okay. We made it. But, but, but sir, we, but we can explain. <laughs> You poor, pathetic dog, laboring away like a dutiful prisoner. You'll do anything to please the Shredder. It's disgusting. Pathetic. Sir! I, 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 I was just saying how therapeutic the work is. Truly cathartic. I will speak with Han. Right. 
I, I I'll just get back to work. Master, I... Silence, Hun. I have not come to hear you plead. You have failed me one time too many, and yet you have also been loyal beyond reproach. I have decided to give you one last chance to redeem yourself. Master, I will not fail. I swear it. Karai has been captured. You must find her and bring her back alive. Is there a problem? No. No, Master. We have data indicating Karai's last recorded location. Dr. Chaplin will provide you with special ordnance. Remember, Hun, your life now depends on her life. It would be such a shame if something went wrong and Hun couldn't save Karai. <laughs> they think they can contain me with this idiotic harness. Now, establish a comlink and find the last location of the Shredder's little pet, Karai. Hmm. An abandoned warehouse in Brooklyn. Now, to broadcast on the most probable frequencies so that some old friends will be able to meet Hun there. <laughs> I am on my way to recover the device. What the heck? Once I obtain the technology I'm after, and we give it to the brilliant Dr. Baxter Stockman, we'll be able to hunt down the turtles and their rat master. There's nowhere they'll be able to hide. I'm on my way to Warehouse 51 in Brooklyn to make the pickup. Hunt out! Probably a trap. Probably, but we have to check it out. If it's for real, we have to stop him. Right about now, the turtles should be heading off to investigate. They're so pathetically predictable. And I am a genius. <laughs> my lord, thank you for sending Han. He saved my life. I live to serve you, master. Good. You live, as long as you succeed. Did you retrieve the microchip, Karai? No, my lord. But I did manage to get a detailed scan. We should be able to construct a prototype of our own. Which is obviously why I am here. You've finally seen the error of your ways and are going to let me do what I do best. No! <gasps> Dr. Chaplin will create the prototype for the microchip. That is why he is here. Huh? I want to speak with you about an unauthorized communication you made earlier today. But I... I can explain everything. No! No! This is completely unacceptable. Why didn't you tell us Oroku Saki has a starship? You didn't ask. Sarcasm is no way to build a working relationship with me, Stockman. Relax, Agent Bishop. We have a deal. I'll keep my end of the bargain as long as you keep yours. Huh? <laughs> Must go. Bye now. No worries. We have Dr. Stockman's ingenious defense system on the job. <laughs> No way! Mr. Saki! Our defense grid just went offline! Their defenses are down! Thank you, Dr. Stockman. Oh, believe me, Agent Bishop. It was my pleasure. Launch all remaining missiles. Blow that ship out of the sky. Target destroyed, sir. Scanning the wreckage? No survivors, sir. The Shredder? Destroyed? It's too good to be true. For once in my life, I'm... I'm speechless. 
Stockman, you've been very useful. This could be the start of a mutually beneficial partnership. Report. If you haven't located the exact position of T9581 in 30 seconds, you're going to be volunteering for genetic research. Um, that won't be necessary, sir. We, we're we closing in on the homing beacon now. Bishop, I've been reviewing your work in genetic manipulations. It's almost as brilliant as something I might have done. But I've noticed a certain anomaly I think I can fix. Especially if you're going to keep your end of our bargain. I'm really- Silence, Stockman. I haven't got time for your servile chatter. Agent Bishop, how was Washington? I hear it's lovely this time of year. It was disappointing. Status report. We're on schedule. Normally playing Dr. Frankenstein would be beneath me, but I must admit, you have me intrigued. These organic manipulations you've requested are mostly cosmetic. Nothing that would further your super soldier program. Why? Your project here has a much different goal, Doctor. After the fiasco with the Roku Saki ship and the escape of T9581, the bureaucrats in DC intend to cut our funding. Your work will make sure that doesn't happen. Trust me, Doctor. Soon we'll have unlimited funding right from the President himself. The President? How are you going to manage that? In three weeks, the President will be in New York to address the UN. While he's there, we'll demonstrate the necessity of my work. The job of the Earth Protection Force is to defend this planet from invasion. But in the absence of a current alien threat, we're going to create one. Get me, Stockman! How goes your production, Agent Bishop? Are you the next Orson Welles yet? Your aliens are decomposing ahead of schedule, Doctor. Explain! Decomposing ahead of schedule? But that shouldn't be. Doctor, time is of the essence. Your parameters were to make them able to follow basic orders and fire weapons. The hand-to-hand -hand fighting wasn't on the list. The physical battering must be accelerating the breakdown. <laughs> Looks like they're not the only ones whose bodies are breaking down. Another time. Doctor. You're a work of art, Agent Bishop. A work of unrivaled scientific genius. My genius. Well done, Dr. Stockman. Yes, I know. <laughs> and none too soon, by the look of it. <laughs> You're nearing the end stage. Your current body's breakdown rate is increasing exponentially. A flaw I've eliminated in your new body, of course. Not only that, but I've increased your strength, speed, and longevity as well. This may not be your first clone body, but it will certainly be your best. Let's hope so, Dr. Stockman. But this transfer is successful then we'll be one step closer to creating a race of super soldiers impervious to alien attack. And you're one step closer to a new body of your own. Sounds good to me. Now here we go. And by the way, this will hurt.
simply amazing, Doctor. I feel like a new man. <laughs> you should, because you quite literally are. Your unique genetic structure made it stunningly easy to transfer your consciousness. There are no signs of rejection. Now, as we've agreed, I can finally begin construction on my own body. Dr. Stockman, there's been another report from New York. Uh... Um, uh... Maybe now isn't the best time. Tell me, Doctor. What does he mean by another report? Yes, well... While you were, how shall we say, under the weather, minor reports started coming in from New York. I didn't want to bother you with... Minor reports? Show me. This was caught near a sewer runoff drain near the Lower East Side. A photo was sent in to the media. They're currently investigating possible toxic waste disposal in the area. Chinatown. An insurance investigator took the picture and posted it on a website. Look at the eyes. Doctor, do you have a theory on this? There could be any number of explanations, really. Give me your favorite. Well, when you staged your alien invasion of New York, brilliantly done, might I add, the genetically modified alien clones encountered more vigorous resistance than planned. The genetic accelerant I used to stabilize and increase the speed of mutation on the clones was more potent than I thought. After the cleanup, remnant genetic material made its way into the sewers, and based on the evidence, it came into contact with animal life. The alien DNA, combined with the accelerants and modifications I made, that you asked me to make, is interacting with whatever host creature it encounters, mutating it, spreading like a virus. It, it was impossible to anticipate. Doctor, my life's work is to defend humanity from extraterrestrial threat. And now you're telling me that I've unleashed this, this plague? This is unacceptable, Doctor. This cannot happen. This outbreak must be neutralized before it spreads, before anyone realizes its true nature and tracks it back to my work. Let me know how that goes. I'll be working on my, uh, new body. Your entire focus is now on containing and eliminating this outbreak. Then, and only then, will your new body be forthcoming. <laughs> Pack your equipment. You're going to New York. Dr. Stockman, we've got one. Up ahead. Uh, it's not a big one, is it? Move in. Keep it contained. Uh, yes, a good idea. Wait, not all of you. Who will protect me? You have your orders, Doctor. Contain and eliminate. There can be no evidence. Burn it all. Understood. Begin decontamination protocol alpha. Remember, my welfare is your primary concern. I'm too important to be eaten. It's just incredible. We've made contact. We've encountered hundreds of carriers, multiple species, the mutagenic accelerant seems to be moving up the food chain. It's as if the DNA itself is intelligent. Doctor, is this containable? Well, uh, I need to study one of the creatures to, uh, find out how it's spreading, and, uh... Is. This. Containable? Well, I, uh, the truth is... I have no idea. Sir, teams two and three just reported in. All mutated creatures in their sectors have been destroyed. The genetic material incinerated. Teams 18 through 20 are clear. Teams six through nine are reporting in. Doctor, report. This was something we hadn't seen before. It came up out of the sub sewers. We're preparing to subdue it now. But I think I found a sample worth studying. Get 
body transfer systems ready. It's a rash mistake, Dr. Stockman. Ah, Agent Bishop. I can only assume you're here to witness my genius at work. I'm here to warn you one last time. It's foolish to go through with this. Please, you're living proof that my body transplant procedure works. Why should I have to wait for my new body? Why? Because your genetic miscalculations caused an outbreak in New York that's turned the city into a cesspool of mutations. As if it wasn't one already. This improved Super Soldier Accelerant has made my new clone body far stronger and faster than initial tests suggested. Early genome imbalances were inevitable, but I've solved those problems, as I always do. Do what you will, Doctor, but don't damage that brain of yours. It is still of some use to me. Maybe the dullard should try getting a brain of his own. Now then, time to put myself to sleep so that I can wake up a new man. Commencing cerebral transference. Mama, smart little boy. Mama. Hmm. <laughs> hey, what's that behind your back? It's that science kit you've been wanting, baby doll. A lot better than playing with those pots and pans. Will you play with me, Mama? Oh, I wish I could, honey. But Mama's got to work a double shift tonight. All right, baby, now you have fun. <laughs> and remember, the sky's the limit for you, baby doll. The sky's the limit. Now housed within a superb body. Oh, how I've missed having a physical body. The sights, the smells, the sensation of a cool breeze. I have goosebumps. Goosebumps! Huh? Uh -huh. Oh! The skin is just settling. Yes, that's all. Simple tissue acclimation. <laughs> Baxter Stockman, you are beautiful. <laughs> might be prudent to run one or two small tests. Everything seems normal. Above normal. Perhaps I should check the molecular dosage levels of the Super Soldier Accelerant. just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you. The sky's the limit for my Baxter. You sleep tight now, baby. Oh, and honey, do me a favor. Put something on that finger. 
It looks infected. Mama? Must be some neuroanesthetic residue from the transference. <laughs> No! No! What's happening to me? I started with such promise. Where did it all go wrong? Where? The horrible degradation at the hands of the Shredder, his horrific thug, Hun, or those despicable turtles? No, no. Before them, it was her. I trusted her, and she betrayed me. She brought in those turtles and ruined everything. My glorious Mousers failed because of her, and that failure is what brought the Shredder's wrath down upon me. Yes, yes, she's responsible. She did this to me. And she is the one who will pay! I'll get it. Jeez, I'm coming, I'm coming. Casey! Hello, Ms. O'Neill. We have some catching up to do. Back where this all started. April! Come, April dear, you have a little appointment regarding retribution. <laughs> the lab where he and April first worked together. It has to be. Now, Ms. O'Neill, time for you to pay for what you've done. <laughs> you ruined my work for the Shredder. You brought those turtles into my life. Because of you, I have been torn apart. Well, Ms. O'Neill, now it's your turn to go to pieces. Ah, it's good to be home. <coughs> huh? Baxter. <coughs> I'm sorry, baby doll. Mama's just worn out. I guess this old body just can't take it. I so wanted to see you grow up and be a fine man. I did. <coughs> Remember, the sky's the limit for you, boy. I... I... I love you, Baxter. No, Mama. Don't leave me. Mama. 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 What? Ah. Miss O'Neill, I'm glad you're here early. We have a lot of work to do. As you can see, the mouse's search and retrieval functions are all ingeniously controlled by a remote mother computer. Quite brilliant, really. Oh, <laughs> you flatter me, April. I like that. Let her go, Stockman. April? You betrayed me! Run, 
April! Get out of here! No, she can't leave. I forbid it! You asked for it, Dr. Stockman Stein! <laughs> She ruined my life, and she must pay! April? <sighs> April! with a dissection table. Hey, Doc! How about a second opinion? Let's get out of here! a good boy. You had so much potential. What happened to you, baby doll? You were someone I admired, someone I respected, and you can be again. Mama, what have I done? <laughs> Doctor. Baxter. Please. <laughs> Mama, Mama. Hey, bro! Mama, you've got to get off of here, Mama. It's not safe. Hurry, Mama! <sighs> Hurry! I love you, Mama! I.
living, Dr. Stockman. Uh, where? Uh, Dr. Stockman? I, I... I don't understand. What's happened? What have you done to me? I had your brain recovered from the bottom of New York's East River after your misguided sabbatical. While I could do without your personality, I do need your brain. The outbreak is getting worse by the minute, and I expect you to use that powerful mind of yours to clean it up. I... I... I can't believe... Oh. I can't believe you brought me back like this. Why? Why? Why couldn't you let me finally rest in peace? Why? This is unacceptable. Your progress on the outbreak cure is lacking, Doctor. The situation in the city is getting worse, and it's keeping my attention away from my work. Your work? Please! The original outbreak virus was an unintended side effect of the genetic accelerants I created for you. There are too many variables. I'm testing dozens of retroviruses. I must say, I'm surprised to see you. We don't get a lot of guests here. Oh, I knew this was too easy. You think they saw the copter? It's Area 51. They probably have a UFO watching us from space. Not exactly, Michelangelo. We detected the helicopter as it approached because it's my helicopter. Dr. Stockman took it to New York on his ill-fated trip. Stockman? Still alive? I thought we were done with you for good. Oh, I wish. But Agent Bishop didn't see fit to let me rest in peace. Enough chit-chat. What brings you turtles to my house? There's been an outbreak in New York, caused by your alien invasion force. I'm familiar with the situation in New York. Don got infected. He's been transformed into... into a monster! <laughs> oh, that's rich. So much for the smart one. Perhaps we can be of aid to one another. What if I told you I could cure your brother? Why would you help us? I would help your brother because I require something from you in exchange. There is no way we should make a deal with this guy. Don's in trouble because of Bishop. And he tried to dissect us, remember? It may be a deal with the devil, but what choice do we have? unit in a junkyard amateurs ready to sell for transfer doctor is this transfer necessary it is if you want more than his blood pressure and temperature now open that hunk of junk Stockman! Oh. 
This is Bishop to command. Send in two more squads. Lethal force is authorized. Stop! Just wait. Just give me five minutes. You have two. Hmm. Donatello's body appears to be breaking down at a fantastic rate due to secondary stage mutations caused by the outbreak accelerant. He doesn't have much time. The animal was right. <sighs> Leonardo, this is wrong. We cannot leave Donatello's fate to these devils. Stockman cannot be trusted. And him, if you only knew what he was capable of. Leatherhead's right, Leo. Bishop's the enemy. He's the one that caused the outbreak in the first place. Stockman created the genetic accelerant on my orders. What you call the outbreak virus is an unintended side effect of one of my operations. Do you have a cure? Yes. Donatello's condition continues to deteriorate. There's not much time. Dr. Stockman, Agent Bishop told us that you would administer the cure to Donatello. To think that I've sunk so low that my unparalleled genius would be used to save the life of one of these freaks. Unfathomable. Where is the cure, Stockman? I'm pulled from sweet oblivion. For what? This? Show us the cure now. Cure? You stupid animal. Agent Bishop lied. There is no cure. What? You inhuman, soulless monster! Leatherhead, please. I share your anger, but this will not help Donatello. We need solutions, not vengeance. You'd be wise to listen to your friend, animal. a long time to do this. Now you will know the meaning of pain. Dr. Stockman is working on a cure. He's the best chance Donatello has for survival. Harm me and Stockman stops. And your friend has no chance. Now, villain. Dr. Stockman, show me what you have so far. Impressive, Mr. Leatherhead. And to think I was going to dissect you. What a waste that would have been. You're even more brilliant than Dr. Stockman. What? Then it works? Doctor, prepare an airborne version of the cure for the New York outbreak, as well as a sample for Donatello. If his brothers fulfill their side of the agreement. Status report, Dr. Stockman. All units are reporting in. The cure is working. The outbreak is in full remission. This better have been worth all the trouble. I assure you, Agent Bishop, encoded within the amulet are secrets even you could not imagine. Do you have the laser frequency adjusted as we directed? Yes, yes. Backseat scientists. Beginning laser analysis for encoded data, now. 
No! I... I, I don't understand. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Agent Bishop. You lied. This has all been an elaborate lie. <laughs> Who would do this? And why? Hmm. Who indeed? Stockman, what do you want? A new piece of alien wreckage from the invasion has been uncovered. From the report, it could be a power core. Most of the space debris has long since been cleared away. This could be the Earth Protection Force's last chance to find something of value. Take a commando unit, retrieve the piece, and report back. It's always a pleasure doing business with you, Agent Bishop. Agent Bishop will be furious. This is useless. Completely burnt out. What a waste of my time, my talent. Huh? That's odd. Hmm. This calls for further investigation. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Nanobots. Bring out the particle collectors. We're bringing something back. Simply amazing. They don't seem to be Triceraton or Federation in origin. And the only human brilliant enough to create this kind of technology is me. Are you certain you can reprogram them? Please. The control chip I'm placing on one of the nanobots will send my programming out to each and every one of them. Millions of nanobots under my control. The possibilities are endless. All under my control, Doctor. Activate them. Uh, of course, Agent Bishop. Are you aware that it was intelligent? No, no, I... Foreign programming detected, taking over. Error, weapons protocol. No, must escape. Ah. What is it doing to my lab, Stockman? Amazing, the nanobots are reconfiguring our technology, rebuilding it to... How is it resisting my programming? No! No! Tell me, Doctor, is this your idea of control? I'm beginning to understand why your former employer kept relieving you of body parts. Our generators are at 15%. 
The last wave of creatures took out two squadrons of commandos. What are these beasts? What's happening to this city? I require answers, Dr. Stockman. All I know is that this time, I had nothing to do with it. We can't hold them much longer! The outer shell's been breached! They're coming in! Huh? what we got here. <laughs> we come at a bad time. You turtles invited Hun. You must be desperate. Control yourself, Dr. Stockman. We're here on business. Speaking of which, I have one little question. What's to stop any of us from just eliminating you Terrapins right here and now? Us, for one. Huh? Um, Okay, let's get started. We asked you all here because everything going on in this city, the transformations, the monsters, it's all the work of an ancient, resurrected demon. The original Shredder from the fourth century AD. His power is growing by the minute. The evil that transformed this city is spreading over the world. Agent Bishop? We need a door! Doctor. Once again, my genius used like a blunt weapon. You're all right. Let me help you. Help me! Stockman. Oh. On your feet. There's work to do. Why can't I ever be left alone to expire in peace? Karai, you're alive. Now, if you haven't noticed, we're losing. You've got to use your link with the Shredder and continue your assault. Stand back. You two, protect her. I need to see if we have any other forces left. Dr. Stockman, this is so great! You and I are a team again. Isn't it just so awesome? Thrilling beyond words. This day couldn't possibly get any worse. What's happening? The Tengu Shredder is pulling his energy back into himself. I feel it. I have linked with the Shredder's energy. And now he'll pay! I guess this day could get worse. Dr. Stockman! <laughs> Come along, Dr. Stockman. That brain of yours is still intact, and I'm not finished with you yet. 
It seems the pain will never end. Best money I ever spent. Thanks to you, no one can stand against the purple dragons. Especially not the foot. I aim to please, hun. As long as I get paid. Baxter Stockman. So let's hack into the old foot database and find the next treasure vault out there for you to rob. Their encryption is so weak, you could break it with a calculator and a paperclip. to me, body and soul, Stockman. Especially body. The Shredder! But how? Ah, if it isn't my old lackey, hun! No, this can't be! Get out of my body! Silence, worm! I have been trapped for too long in my virtual prison. This cybernetic body means my freedom! Had I known you were capable of such fine work, Stockman, I would have treated you better! Really? No! Of course, this vessel could use some improvements. No! What are you doing? Stop! Shredder's taken over my cybernetic body. It isn't... Turtles, fate smiles on me this day. Fate smiling doesn't sound very stockman -y. Stockman is gone. Today, the Shredder is reborn. Your doom is at hand, worms. Okay. How about I make you a new body, a bigger one, with all the razor-sharp features you like? Silence, idiot! The turtles shall perish this day! <laughs> You've always been crazy, Shreddy Bear! But the two-for-one is a new twist. Works for me! I can kick two butts with one foot! I don't think so! <laughs> hey, Stockman! You wanna help, or don't you? Sorry, but I just had that back panel servo installed last week. It's imported. I'm going to smash you to pieces! Take pride that for once in your life, Stockman, you built something of value. Tear that traitor apart! Oh, crud. Traitor? Interesting choice of words coming from you, hon.
something like that! This is really going to scratch the paint. Time to pull the ripcord! Manually check. A last resort. I've learned to never get too comfortable in a body. Follow me! All right, Stockman, start talking. Just what are we up against here? Long story short, it's a dreadful bore being a brain in a jar. So I negotiated a deal with Hun to construct a new body in exchange for my technological expertise. But had I known the Shredder was back and had taken this new cyber form, I would have taken additional precautions. Blah, blah, blah. Just tell us how to take him down. If this new cyber Shredder is as powerful as you say he is, then his digital consciousness would likely be too large to upload completely into my body's onboard circuitry meaning he must still be anchored somewhere in cyberspace. If we could sever his connection, I may be able to regain control of the body and lock him out. There's a mainframe link in Hun's office. With a bit of time, I might be able to find the cyber connection and break it. Then we'll buy you the time you need. Too bad Don's in cyberspace. This is just the kind of geek stuff he's great at. There. The mainframe. Watch my back. Uh, you don't really have a back. I have always known it was your fate to perish by my hand, turtles. Those are my hands. More hacking, less yakking! Tell me he missed the computer that's gonna save our shells? This ends now! Your end is near, Turtles! We'll hold them off, see what you can do! I'm a genius, not a miracle worker! Processor's dead. Wireless seems to be working. Wait, didn't someone say the smart one was online? If I recalibrate the computer board to sync up to the wireless signal, perhaps I can get a message to him. It may be our only chance. You are as spineless as ever, Stockman. Rap! Hot potato! I'll bet Einstein never dealt with distractions like these. Come on, come on! It's working! I can get a message through! Too little, too late! Just have to secure a transmission link. Donatello, emergency transmission! Baxter Stockman? Is that you? How did you- There's no time! Follow my instructions to the letter, or your brothers are going to be shredded! me back in before he regains control. Rebooting firewalls. Calibrating system protections. The shredder's been eradicated from my system. Stockman, my brothers? are really lucky you're the smart one. Despite my considerable scientific prowess, I needed help. Fortunately, I was able to convince one of the world's greatest minds to work under my aegis. Dr. Baxter Stockman. The alien DNA is mutating nicely. I've been calling them organic mousers. Just my little joke. 
How do you like our dip into the gene pool? Extending radula, developing corrosive bile. You'll have an army in no time thanks to your volunteer donor program. Stockman was brilliant. He took the program in directions I never would have imagined. He also took things too far. One day, in his zeal to unlock the secrets of alien life, Stockman accidentally triggered a biochemical chain reaction. No! Stockman! What have you done? It was the last I saw of Baxter Stockman. Bishop, help! <laughs> Is I learned my lesson. It's peace, not war, that is the answer to Earth's continued safety. Well, you're about to learn another lesson, Mr. President. If you're going to leave your errand boy for dead, you should make sure that he really is. Baxter Stockman! In the flesh, so to speak. Now, payback time. If it isn't the Turtles, and here I thought Agent Bishop and I were the only ones who survived the good old days. Though you didn't have to graft alien DNA onto your own body in order to pull it off. Stockman! I... I thought you perished in the accident. Guess that explains why no one came looking for survivors. Ever! So is that it? Simple revenge? Stockman, everything has changed. I'm not the man I once was. Nor will you be the man you are for much longer. You follow that one? Nope. That's crazy brain talk if I ever heard it. Ah! Stockman! What are you doing? I spent decades down here, rebuilding our facility. Expanding on our original experiments with the trace DNA left behind. Yet I was unable to create a viable body for myself. Then I realized, why make when I could take? <sighs> In a moment, that underused organ you like to call a brain will be processed and transplanted in favor of a a, shall we say, more gifted tenant, though the space may be a tad cramped. Stockman, this is madness! No, this is logic. You're the president. You've shown a proclivity for long life, and you have to love the irony. Stockman, you're not going to get away with this! Speaking of irony, it may have taken a hundred years, but it warms my cerebellum to know you four will meet your end as mouser food. Relax. It's just a brain transplant. Nothing to lose your head over. Stockman, listen to me! No one knows better than we do what a jerk bishop was in the past, but this isn't the answer. Why not? He started all of this. He left me for dead. He owes me. He owed a lot of people, Baxter, but he's been paying it back by changing the world. Bishop's work has actually united people of all races, Earthlings and otherwise. I mean, even we can walk the streets in daylight. Because in Bishop's world, no one's considered a monster based on how they look, only by how they act. Are you a monster or a man? Do you want to use your skills to destroy? Or like Bishop, can you see a way to create something? Okay, I think I got it. You did it! Ow! Yeah, now let's move it! Help me! I'm all right. Get Stockman. Let's get you to safety first, Mr. President! Stockman! 
I left him behind once. I won't do it again. Go! He really did change, didn't he? Talkman! Don't just stand there. Move your shells! Whoa! Hail to the chief! Quick! Down here! You... You saved me! Why? It's what I've been saying all along, my friend. Everything's changed. So, based on your current DNA, I believe it would be possible. Genetic advances over the last century make creating a viable body based on your former physical structure nothing more than a minor procedure. What's the catch? I become your personal slave, toiling away in a secret lab? Actually, the Department of Agriculture is interested in your mousers. I'd like you to meet with them. Me? Really? Well, I suppose it's my civic duty, Mr. President. Say, is there a vice president?